Hey guys, welcome back to another video and as we all know Samsung Galaxy F62 has been launched in India and in today's video we bring you a comparison of F62 versus Mi 10i versus Realme X7. Today we are going to find out which is the best phone under rupees 25,000. So now let's start the video. As usual, first we start with the price. Galaxy F62 pricing 6 plus 128 GB at 24,000, 8 plus 128 GB at 26,000. Whereas Realme X7 pricing 6 plus 128, 20,000, 8 plus 128, 23,000. Mi 10i pricing 6 plus 128, 22,000, 8 plus 128, 24,000. So as we can easily understand that Realme X7 is the cheapest among the other two. So now let's start the comparison. First as usual we come to the display, now Samsung Galaxy F62 has a 6.7 inch pretty big display, FHD plus Super AMOLED display it is but the refresh rate is stuck at 60Hz and the touch sampling rate isn't mentioned whereas the protection is Gorilla Glass 3 and it is pretty heavy and why it is heavy I'm gonna tell you later in this video, it weighs 218 grams. So yes Galaxy F62 pretty good display at the price point. Let's move ahead to the Realme X7 which has a 6.4 inch which is a much more compact than Galaxy F62 inch FHD full HD plus AMOLED display and this is also stuck at 60 hertz but the start sampling rate is 180 hertz but this not, does not have any gorilla cross protection or the protection isn't mentioned and the weight is pretty light 185 grams so this yes realme x7 is a pretty light and compact phone no doubt about that let's come to Mi 10i it features a 6.67 inch full hd plus ips lcd display this phone is slightly different from the other two phones yes this has a 120 hertz of refresh rate along with a 240 hertz of touch sampling rate so if you're a gamer you should definitely look for the Mi 10i and now it has a Gorilla Glass 5 protection with 218 grams. Also, HDR10 supports are every present in all the three phones. Now let's move ahead to the next criteria, which is the processor. Now processor, no doubt, hands down, Samsung has done a really good job this time with the Galaxy F62. They have given an Exynos 9825 processor, which is a much powerful processor than Exynos 9611. And but sadly, this is only a 4G processor. Although this processor had capabilities to support 5G, but Samsung have given 4G here. But if you talk about the Antutu score, 3.9 lakh, which is a decent score. Let's move ahead to the Realme X7. It has a MediaTek Diamond City 800 u which is a decent processor. In fact, the best processor under 20,000, but not the best processor under 25,000. And the main highlight is that this supports 5G. Yes, Galaxy F62 was totally a 4G phone. So slightly future-proof, you can call Realme X7. At the end of the day, this is not future-proof. And why? I'm going to tell you in the conclusion of this video. And the Antutu score of this is 3.3 lakhs which is decent enough and Mi 10i has Snapdragon 750G which is slightly weaker than Exynos 9825 but this one supports only two bands of 5G the Realme X7 supported four this one supports two so yes none of them are totally future proof because the band support is very less but this Antutu score is 3.25 lakhs which is decent so overall in the processor segment Samsung definitely wins Stay segment I doubt anyone is the winner but processor segment Samsung is definitely is the winner now let's move ahead to the next criteria now the camera Galaxy F62 features Sony IMX682 sensor, the same sensor was present in the Galaxy M51 along with 12 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel macro and 5 megapixel depth. This is a really great sensor and we all know Samsung's optimization is really decent. Come to the selfie, 32 megapixel punch hole selfie Galaxy F62 offers. Let's go to the Realme X7. It has triple camera setup, 64MP plus 8MP plus 2MP. It's a Samsung sensor, but Realme X7 has, is not the best camera at under 20,000. So I'm not talking about much about that, but the selfie is 16 megapixel punch hole selfie, which is decent, but not the best. Mi 10i also has the same 16 megapixel punch hole selfie, but the camera here is really massive. 108 megapixel Samsung sensor with 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 plus 2 macro and depth. So as Mi 10i has only the main camera really good, but if you overall a package, I would call Samsung Galaxy F62 because Samsung's optimization is really good. Along with it has a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. Anyways, now let's move ahead to the next segment which is the battery. Now hands down Samsung definitely wins here because it has a 7000 mAh power bank battery with a 25 watt of charging. The charging could have been improved but I'm not satisfied with the charging. Samsung should start giving at least 33 or 35 or 45 watt of charging with their mid-range phones. But the Realme X7 has 4310 mAh battery which is not that good but if you also have to see the Realme X7 is pretty light as well. So to maintain that they have to give a 4310 mAh battery which is not that good but the fast charging is really massive. 65 watt of super fast charging is accompanied with the Realme X7. Whereas Mi 10i has 4820 mAh battery which is decent enough, not too good, not too bad along with a decent enough 33 watt of fast charging. So it's no complaints about the battery, Samsung definitely wins. Now let's move ahead to the next segment. 
which is the other section galaxy f62 has side fingerprint scanner it does have headphone jack it has a plastic bag which is a glossy finish micro sd card slot it does have it has single speakers yes samsung should start giving stereo speakers right now it has one ui core based on android 11 now it does have not security which is a massive point massive secure point of this phone now let's move ahead to realme x7 it has in display fingerprint scanner which samsung galaxy f62 does not have despite being an amulet display it does not have any headphone jack it does not have micro sd card slot it does not have stereo speakers because these three are big down points of realme x7 and it has a plastic back of course and this is run this runs on realme ui which is based on android 10 now we could have expected android 11 out of the box this time whereas me 10i has high fingerprint scanner it does have headphone jack it has a glass back which is the best in the other two it does not have any micro sd card slot it has stereo speakers it has me ui 12 running on android 10 now let's move on to the final segment i mean whether you should think about buying them and what might be the reasons so now let's move ahead if you want to buy the Galaxy F62, the, probably the reasons would be the Super AMOLED Plus display, the Exynos 9825 most powerful processor, the 7000mAh battery, the 12MP ultrawide lens whereas the other two have 8MP, it has a best selfie camera in comparison to the other two, it does have a micro SD card slot and that it does have a headphone jack. And if you want to choose the Realme X7, probably the reasons would be Super AMOLED display, the 5G support because Samsung Galaxy F62 didn't have a 5G support, this one has the most number of band support as well. It has an in-display fingerprint scanner and the flagship 65W of super fast charging. But if you want to choose the Mi 10i, the reasons probably would be 120Hz refresh rate, Snapdragon 750G, 108MP camera, Gorilla Glass 5 protection and the headphone jack. So overall, who should I recommend? To be honest, I am recommending none of you because if you, if I said that you want a Galaxy F62, it does not have 5G support. So if you are thinking of buying a phone for at least 2 or 3 years, then Samsung Galaxy F62 won't last long because 5G is coming at least by 2022. And if, you, if I recommend you get Mi 10i, but it has only 2 5G band support, so there is no point in recommending that. Same goes for Realme X7 with only 4 5G band support. So I would recommend you please wait for some time, wait for at least 2 or 3 months, more 5G phones will come. So we are bringing you another comparison of Moto G 5G versus OnePlus Nord versus Galaxy F6 too soon, if this video gets good attention. So yes, thanks for watching and hope you like this video and do like to subscribe and comment and we'll be back with the next video soon. So till then, bye and thanks for watching.